folks, it's Ray Pooperton III with another Attack of the Radioactive Thing video. Today I have part two of my main easter egg guide, The Chemical Step Made Easy. For the next step, known as The Chemical Step, you need to use the ingredients found throughout the map to create a game specific super chemical. This super chemical is put into the bomb and used to defeat the boss. There are five possible super chemicals that you can create and the one that you need to make is different each game. To create the chemical, you will need to grab the required ingredients and place them one by one in the slots on your lab table. Once you have gotten all the ingredients needed for your chemical, you will then enter a two-digit code gotten by using the formula on the wall close by. When you have gotten your super chemical into the bomb, you will then just need to get the bomb code from the safe in the back room of the market and you are ready for the boss fight. To find out which chemical you need to make in your game, use the battery drops gotten from backpack zombies to power up two radios. One is located in the power area in the far right corner behind the hut. And the second is located in the reception office of the motel. One of these two recordings will be a positive statement about one of the super chemicals being effective against the radioactive thing or explaining how to make it. The radio that is useless will tell you a chemical that does not work or just be some other useless information. I don't think the creation of 2,4-propane 3,5-tetranitrites will effectively do the job required. I will always just play both and go with the one that sounds more positive if I am not sure. Once you know your chemical, you are ready to move on to the next step. In order to mix your chemicals in the lab later on, you will need to correctly input a two digit code. This code is gotten by filling in and solving the equation on the garage wall. The two variables you need to solve for are M and O. The M is found by simply going to the motel reception office and looking up in the corner. In my game, M was equal to 8. O is found one of two ways. The first being the pain in the arse way. Go to the following four locations throughout the map that have the possible solutions. Visit each one in each color mode and use process of elimination to find out which one never shows a not equal to symbol. That number is what O is equal to. Once you have seen a not equal symbol at a spot, cross it off your list of locations to check. Then there is the easy way. As long as M is not 4 or less, it is very easy to figure out what O is by simply looking at the TV screen. O times M will always be equal to one less than the top less than option, right in the middle of the second range option, or one more than the greater than option on the bottom. Since this is the case, you can always figure out what O is by simply figuring out which of these three numbers is divisible by M. In this case, I had eight for M and my TV showed less than 71 is red, 71 to 73 is blue, and greater than 73 is green. So that means red is 70, blue is 72, and green is 74. Only one of these numbers is divisible by eight, which is 72. Therefore, my color is blue and my O variable is equal to nine because eight goes into 72 nine times. There are six chemical boards around the map that list all the chemical ingredients with a diamond containing four numbers for each one. In each color mode, the numbers on the diamonds are different. You get the two digit code for mixing chemicals by adding all the ingredients top and left numbers on the diamond. The sum of all the ingredients two diamond numbers minus O is your two digit code for that chemical mixture. So to make this easy on yourself, change your color on the other side of the TV station 
to whatever color m times o gave you in the last step. For me, it was blue. Now go to all of these six board locations and take a screenshot or snap a pic with your phone. Once you have a picture of all six boards, it's time to build your lab and mix your chemicals. There are three parts to the lab. Part one for the lab, the tube, you have probably seen and picked up before. It is located in the back room of the market on the couch. Part two for the lab, the gauges, is located on the picnic table in the RV park slot one over from the leg barbecue. And the final part, the big device you input your numbers into, is on the last table before the barrier on the path towards the beach. Now that you have all your parts, head back over to the garage. Walk up to the table straight ahead and build your lab. The way this lab works is on the table in front of you, you have four slots. This is where you will mix your ingredients. The device you got on the beach is where you input your two digit code once your chemical is ready for mixing. And on the right side, this table is where your finished chemical mixtures will appear. Standard chemicals will be yellow and super chemicals will be red. If you input the incorrect two digit code or put in the wrong ingredients, you will get hit by a blast that will red screen you even with tough enough. So make sure you have plenty of room when inputting the code. Have another player watch the last zombie or in solo simply pause it and take a look at the graphic on screen now. A link can be found to a high res version of this cheat sheet in the description so you can save a copy to your phone or computer. Find your super chemical and see what ingredients you will need. I had 135 terra nitra phenol so I scrolled down to that and saw I needed detergent as well as the standard chemical mixture phenol sulfonic acid. So first I need to create that so I can use it as an ingredient. So I scroll down to that under the standard chemical mixtures and see it is drain opener and phenol another chemical mixture. Phenol conveniently right above is made from wheel cleaner motor oil and insect repellent. So I set off to make phenol, grabbing motor oil from the garage I am already in, then wheel cleaner from the market, and finally insect repellent. Once these ingredients are all placed in their slots, I pull up my screenshots of the boards and find each ingredient. Take the top and left numbers of each diamond and add them together. For insect repellent I had 2 plus 1 giving me 3. For motor oil, I had 6 plus 2, giving me 8. And for wheel cleaner, I had 7 and 3, giving me 10. Then you add up all your totals and subtract your O number gotten from the TV by Elvira. So I had 10 plus 8 plus 3, or 21, minus 9, which is 12. I input 12 into the device from the beach, and voila, phenol appears on the other table to my right. Conveniently, each successful created chemical will be labeled on the wall. Now that I have my phenol, I add that to my mixture table, as well as drain opener from the RV park bathroom, and repeat the process to get my two digit code. Then I take that phenol sulfonic acid, put it on the mixture table as well as detergent from the market shelf, check out my screenshots, and input my code. By this time, you will have your super chemical ready to put into the bomb. Before you do that, there is just one last step, building your bomb and getting the bomb codes. Just like the lab, there are also three parts to the bomb. The first part to the bomb, the music note, is located under the stream bridge. The second part, the nuts and bolts, are found under the red car on the street between the motel and the TV station. And the 
last part for the bomb, the filter is behind the door to the fence between the TV station and the overgroom path where Racing Stripes is located. To get the bomb codes from the safe in the market break room, you must enter four numbers that appear under the desk into these valves on the map. You can input them in any order as long as you input all four numbers, one in each valve. As soon as you have done this, the safe will open and you can grab your bomb codes. Write these down as you will not be able to open your inventory screen when you need to input them during the boss fight. Now that you have your bomb code, you can take your super chemical, input it as well as the parts into the bomb, and when you are ready, teleport into the boss fight. But that about wraps up this guide. For part three of the Easter egg, the boss fight, which will go over setup and strategy, making it easy as pie, check out this video. Subs and likes are appreciated. Peace!